Hello guys, it's School Life, and today we're going to be learning about parallel lines. So, if you didn't know, parallel lines are exactly like these lines here in my notepad. That's why I've got this. The lines you get in your notepad. So, we're going to be drawing and showing you some parallel lines. Um, so, yeah. Um, I, like, I like to do... Um, I'm probably going to do a lot of maths on this channel. So, yeah. Um... I'm going to show you all the equipment, best school, life apps, stuff like that. And I'm going to show you. And yeah, it's going to be pretty cool. So, we're going to use this as a ruler because it's always best to use a ruler for parallel lines. So, I'm just going to draw a parallel line here. And I've put that straight. So, if you didn't know, a parallel line is where the lines will never meet the so lines they just go straight forever but so this these are parallel lines okay so if i draw that down like this is very messy you should never draw in pen but it's the only thing i've got at the moment um that they're parallel that should be a little bit longer but it doesn't matter so that could be parallel even though one's longer than the other, still parallel. Now we're gonna look at shapes with parallel lines. So, quickly draw a rectangle right here. Cause I'll show you that's got two pairs of parallel lines. Okay, and bring the book a bit closer. So, here, two parallel lines. That's one pair. You can see that already. But then there's another pair there and there. Okay, so this, this line here, and this line here, they're both parallel. And so are these lines here. they're both parallel okay so now we're going to turn the page i'm going to show you what's not parallel so we could have something like oh should always draw a ruler no this is a book <laughs> um i'll show you that 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 and to meet it all that so you can see there is a pair of parallel lines here comment down below if you can spot it actually i'm going to tell you but i'm going to do one at the end if you can spot it just to see if you're actually paying attention and you've learned anything from this video so here are the two sets of parallel lines but because this part here, I'm going to circle it. That part that I circled there, it's a triangle. Well, the top of a triangle. Okay. So that would not be parallel. Because them lines are meeting. So, I think I've learned you something. Even though it's got this line here. And it's got that there that line that would be parallel that line if there was a line there like that that line but without the triangle part so forget that the triangle part if it was just two lines it would be parallel so and then you know that them two lines one and two they're parallel so I'm going to turn the page again. So that's not what's not parallel. The thing I want you to remember from this video is that parallel lines are things, most likely to explain it, that are opposite each other. So like this. I should really use a ruler. I'll keep saying that. 
always use a ruler guys when you're doing parallel lines because one could be slightly inwards and that one could be slightly inwards that way they would meet okay so you're gonna have that line there and that line there okay so that's I'll just put P-A-R, okay? That's parallel. So, the one that's not parallel, no ruler, could be slightly slanted. This one, however, this one could be perfectly straight, okay? That one there is perfectly straight, but that one is curved in. So that is going to meet where I've drawn the circle. Non power. Okay, non power. And then I'm going to show you, like, it doesn't matter what side it meets, it could be like that. That is not parallel, no matter what. That is not parallel. Even if the line don't actually meet on the paper, but they're going inwards, like this one here slightly going inwards but they don't you don't see the meat on the paper they're still going outwards and they're gonna suddenly when so bring that closer to you when when it goes off the page it will still meet unless it stops but it's still not parallel so i hope you learned a lot from this video well not a lot but I'm going to go back to that page because that page perfect parallel. So yeah, in the comments down below, could you name me some parallel, parallel shapes or could you, okay, I'm going to draw this and you're going to tell me if it's parallel or not. You ready? So, I'm going to do two, so number one. Number one, there. So, number one, there's going to be in a little box here. This isn't the actual parallel thing I'm talking about. Number one, it's going to be um, a, let's say, a square. Excuse my ruler. So, a square. So in the comments down below, tell me if this square I am drawing is parallel. It might turn out a rectangle, but it doesn't matter. It's just an example. So one is a... I'm just going to put P-I-R. Is it parallel? So, number two. Number two. Um, I'm going to draw a triangle. Okay. Is the triangle parallel? And if there, tell me how many, if it is parallel, tell me how many pairs of parallel lines does it have. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned a lot from this video. Thank you for watching. Bye. Have a good day at school.